Hey everyone, and hello to our altar family, both here in Johnson City and around the world. Pastor Maddie Montgomery here. And during this time of transition to uh, our new headquarters, I've been doing a lot of reflection about the many ways that we've seen God's power and faithful love work in and for us over the nearly three years since we launched the church. You know, it's, it's been overwhelming to see the supernatural growth we've experienced, not just in numbers, but in spiritual maturity, impact, and grace. And your faithful prayer and partnership have made that possible. So I wanted to take just a, a couple minutes to testify of God's goodness and to share with you some of what you have helped make possible just this year in 2022. Uh, in our local community here in Johnson City, 49 new families have joined the church. We've had over 100,000 podcast downloads from 118 different nations around the world. 144 different families have joined a small group here in our, our small group ministry called Tribes. And 96 new children, ages 1 to 11, have joined our kids' ministry this year. Not only is the church expanding, as every month it seems, people are moving their families from all over the nation and the world to join the Altar Fellowship, but what is happening in the church is breaking out of the building and impacting the world around us. You know, for example, uh, this year we distributed 199 backpacks full of school supplies to over 100 families of students in need in our city. Members of our church have cooked uh, over 200 home-cooked meals for other church members during times of need or tragedy. We sent 20 missionaries and over $15,000 to our partner church in Ibarra, Ecuador, and we built a brand new home for Ecuadorian pastor Ariel Perez and his family. Additionally, outreach groups from the altar have been eagerly invited to come pray and minister in several of our local hospitals, as well as almost every public high school in our area. In fact, the Johnson City Press voted the Altar Fellowship the best church in Johnson City for our efforts. This year has been especially significant for us as back in July, we closed on this brand new 18,000 square foot building that will serve for the foreseeable future as the headquarters for the Altar Fellowship, the Altar Conference, the Pathfinder Institute, the Altar Music, and the, the other various projects that Yahweh will give us in the future. Since closing, we have managed a dramatic renovation effort to really modernize and beautify the space to best serve our vision. As you can see, it's still ongoing. Uh, and, and this effort will give us offices, kids' classrooms, an 8,400 square foot sanctuary that will seat around 600 people, a commercial kitchen, infrastructure for live streaming, a separate four bedroom house that we can use to host ministry guests and even three acres of land for future expansion. Now, obviously this has consumed much of my time and attention this year and I, I've been so encouraged and inspired at the way many have rallied together to make this dream possible. Whether it was those who supported the dream through their financial partnership or those hundreds who showed up to the building, rolled up their sleeves, and actually helped with the construction efforts. Back in the spring of 2022, we again hosted a, a large national event, the Altar Men's Conference in Las Vegas, Nevada. Nearly 8,000 men joined us for the event from all over the United States, and even as far as Canada and Europe and many thousands more watched live online. In fact, since that weekend, over 500,000 people have watched the footage of the world-class worship and teaching that occurred there. And we are still receiving testimonies of men that were marked, marriages that were saved, families that were restored, and even ministries and businesses that were launched as a direct result of the outpouring of God's love and truth we experienced there at the Thomas and Mack Center on the Las Vegas Strip. That same weekend, actually, our worship team, The Altar Music, released their debut album titled Welcome Home. Uh, the album debuted on the, the top five on the Christian music charts worldwide, and it was the number 13 most pre-ordered album across all genres on iTunes during the first quarter of, of 2022. Since its release, The Altar Music's videos have, uh, have received more than one million views across all platforms, and they're reaching more than 600,000 prison inmates through our strategic partnership with the ministry God Behind Bars. This year has been a year of radical and rapid expansion in many ways, even in the face of tragedy. Uh, you know, months ago, a good friend of mine, uh, Mike Hoverson, who pastored a dynamic young church in Southern California's Inland Empire, uh, passed away unexpectedly. And after many hours spent prayerfully talking with, comforting and counseling his family, 
their church decided to come under the covering of the altar fellowship. And so we sent our, our former youth pastor, Nate Lobdell, along with his wife and their three incredible kids to California uh, to take over the position as the senior pastors at the Table Fellowship and to help lead that church into the, into the glorious future that Yahweh has prepared for them. Now, additionally, we launched the inaugural semester of the Pathfinder Institute. That is our school for church planters. And we are excitedly looking forward to sending out another wave of pastors next year to plant churches as close as Bristol, Tennessee, and as far away as the Philippines. And what God has done here in just the last 11 months has been historic and really beautiful. And I am so deeply honored to be in a, a position to, to steward his word and to serve his people through my place in this ministry. But it's, it's not lost on me that none of this would be possible if it weren't for you and others just like you who believed in the dream of the altar and who brought their resources and their strengths to the table to make this dream come true. So as you look back over all you've done this year, I pray that you are proud to have partnered with us here at the Altar Fellowship. And as you look to the future, I hope you will consider continuing to partner with us as we discover all the glorious things that God has waiting for us just around the corner. So please know that that I, my family, and my staff pray for you regularly. We constantly thank God that he's brought you into our lives. For those of you who are close to us here in Johnson City, and those of you around the nation and the world, we all wanna say thank you for bringing the power of your faith to the table with us. Your faith is truly moving mountains here. And it is my great joy to say something you've likely heard me say before. We are just getting started and we cannot wait to see what's next. I love you, God bless you, and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you.